Hey everybody, today we are looking at a 2015 Ford F-250. We're going to take a look at the exterior, climb on in, check out the interior, take it for a drive, give it some gas, give it some brakes, and maybe even tow some things. So let's check this truck out, let's get to it. Okay, so we have got the most base F-250 they make. It's an XL two-wheel drive, no frills, and it's gas. Like this is literally the cheapest F-250 you can get your hands on. Um, it's really just made as a work truck, but we're gonna we're gonna test it out and see what we think. Um, gosh, this thing is just plain white, appliance white. I mean, definitely a huge bed on it missing it's cut the holes for um you know the the backup sensors but this is definitely a work truck i'm excited to uh get on the inside and actually tow something with it funny enough i don't know if they're hooked up but it does have the little sign for heated mirrors not sure if they're actually in there or not but i like this body style of the Ford it still looks it looks good it's clean not much to say about the outside <laughs> honestly <laughs> it's just a work truck so anyways let's head inside and see if that's any better okay so stepping in to the Ford F-250 basic XL clean seat bent seat this does oh, fold down some way it folds down anyways that folds down into a cup holder um, this is pretty basic everything is where it should be super basic radio basic Ford tack and everything just you do get a rubber floor, which is nice. I already spilled some uh, some beverage over there, and I can just wipe that up with, with no problem. This XL does come with cruise control. Wow, amazing. Has a tow haul mode, pretty standard truck. Um, it does have power windows and power door locks. Can you believe it? Look at the buttons. Insane, absolutely insane. Let's see, let's go now to the back seat, which is just as lovely. Standard back seat. My dog drooled right there on that seat, so that's not, it didn't come like that. Lots of room in the back though. Here's the cup holder, beautiful. Nice roof, wow. Anyways, and that is the interior. Okay, so we are now driving the F-250. And I will say, it's a big truck, obviously. Um, it doesn't feel underpowered when you're just driving it by itself. And at the moment, I am towing about 3,000 pounds, which is, you know, supposedly it's, it's nothing for this truck because I think the it can tow up to 12,000 is what it's rated for, even with this 6.2 gas engine. It tows the 3,000 pounds just fine, obviously. No problems at all. I've been going up and down Arizona Hills at a very steep 6% grade, and it's handled everything fine. I feel planted and secure. It's, it's a good truck. Now with it being such a big truck and this is the XL version, so there's not any you know upgraded suspension or anything like that, it does, it does get pretty stiff, the ride. Like when you hit a bump, it can definitely have you skipping a little bit on the road or, or whatever. It can, be, it can be jostling to say the least, especially when you, you're towing something and, and you hit you know, a rough patch of road or whatever, that can be a little annoying, to be honest. Um, 
but if you want you can, you know you can change the suspension out or you know buy a different trim package on these on these f-250s but in general it, it's pretty good i just drove this thing for about five hours and i don't have any driver's fatigue uh, my back doesn't hurt it's it's a comfortable truck um yeah again this is just the xl i know they make way better you know lariats and platinums and king ranches so maybe we'll get our hands on one of those sometime soon as well but as for now you know this this xl gas f250 is is a is a pretty good work truck to be honest um i would definitely say you know take a look at it and if you're not wanting to spend diesel money or you just don't need the diesel this could be a good option for sure so yeah check it out so this truck weighs 10,000 pounds and it's got 385 horsepower and 405 foot pounds of torque so you know just moving itself can take a little effort but the engine is never screaming at me or or going or going crazy by any means i mean it, it seems like it's got plenty of power it doesn't seem to be lacking by any stretch so i think in the power department it's okay you know you can always do some mods and and try to squeeze some more power out of it as well if if you feel so inclined but um, I do feel comfortable in this truck, and towing with it has been has been fine as well. Uh, so I mean, overall, I do I do like this truck. So I would say definitely worth looking at, especially if you're looking at you know gas trucks um, for sure. Take a look at this F250, and you know, comment what you think down below. Okay, so you've seen the exterior, you've seen the interior, we've driven it. It's a decent truck. You know, it's definitely not a diesel. Obviously, it's a gas. But, I mean, for what it is and the price difference that you can get these trucks at, it's definitely work, worth, you know, taking a look at. Um, especially as a work truck and if you don't need four-wheel drive or anything like that, this could be a good option for someone you know as a fleet vehicle tow your boat you know whatever or if you just want something a little bigger and more rigid than you know a 1500 or something like that this this could be you know an option for you for sure especially if you don't need the four-wheel drive i i like having four-wheel drive but you know can't have everything i guess but with that being said i will see you in a couple days Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe the channel and you'll be notified every time I come out with a new review. Every single week, sometimes twice a week. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe and I will see you at the next review. See ya. This is when I put out another video, so you better be back. Like and subscribe, thanks.